guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to yet again discuss words. आज के वीडियो में हम आपके लिए एक ऐसी ट्रिक लेके आए हैं जिसको यूज करके आप बहुत आसानी से बड़े कॉम्प्लेक्स और बहुत अनवेल्डी वर्ड्स को भी इजीली याद कर सकते हैं मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा कि ये ट्रिक सारे वर्ड्स पे अप्लाई हो जाएगी बट इट इज अ वेरी वेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड चैलेंजिंग वर्ड्स विच कैन इजिली बी ओवरकम एंड टेम्ड बाई यूजिंग दिस ट्रिक वॉट द ट्रिक फर्स्ट लेट एस सी दिस वर्ड विच आई हैव रिटर्न हियर This word has as many as 16 characters and 16 letters. Imagine a word this long, and we are sometimes even unable to pronounce this word. Forget uh, remembering its meaning and using it in a sentence. But today we will use a trick which will decode this word so easily and make it so very comprehensible that it will become child's play to remember it. Let's see that. मैं हमेशा आपको बोलता हूं कि जब भी आप किसी वर्ड को देखो उसको ऐसे ट्रीट करो जैसे वो एक लिविंग एंटिटी हो उसको समझो उससे बात करो वो आपसे बात करेगा आपको रिस्पॉन्ड करेगा मींस आप उसको समझेंगे और फिर उसको याद रखना और बहुत आसान हो जाएगा उससे आपकी दोस्ती हो जाएगी अब देखिए इस वर्ड से हम अगले टू मिनट्स में कैसे दोस्ती करते हैं और उसके बाद एक और कॉम्प्लेक्स वर्ड लेंगे और फिर और कॉम्प्लेक्स वर्ड लेंगे उनसे कैसे हम दोस्ती करते हैं अभी आपको लग रहा होगा कि ये वर्ड मेरे काम का नहीं है But it's going to be very useful and very common word. You're just going to learn that. Let's see. Uh, this word actually is what we call a sphygmomanometer. A sphygmomanometer. What is the meaning of the word? I won't tell. You will tell. Abhi two minute discussion ke baad aap khud batayenge is word ka meaning kya hai. That's my promise. So, main is word ko break up karne wala hu in different units. Let's see. First of all, a uh, 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 sphygmo. Up to here, I have drawn a line, slashing it into two. This is a sphygmo. Abhi bhi aapko samay nahi aayega. No, don't worry. Then I'm gonna draw another line, mano, mano, right here. So now we have three units. This word has been divided into sphygmo, mano, and meter. Abhi bhi aapko problem ho hi rahi hai. बट अब आपकी प्रॉब्लम दूर हो जाएगी आप कमाल देखेंगे अगर आप इस वर्ड को एक बार अच्छे से देखेंगे तो इसमें एक रूट है स्पिकमो जो आपके लैटिन लैंग्वेज की एक रूट होती है हमारी स्पिग मोस स्पिक मोस रूट से आया है स्पिक मोस में से एस हटा के यहां लगा दिया गया है जिसका मतलब होता है आपका पी यू एल एस ई पल्स एंड वॉट इज पल्स That's right in your body, which every doctor assesses, checks before actually proceeding further with the medication. So that is what you call pulse, a vein in your wrist or everywhere else in your body through which the blood pressure or the health of a patient is measured. So that is what you call sphygmos in Latin language. Latin में sphygmos बोला और English में pulse. That's fine. So इसका मतलब हो गया हमारा P U L S E pulse. मैनो अब मैनो आपको थोड़ा अजीब लगेगा बट बिल्कुल भी अजीब नहीं है मैं एक वर्ड आपको देता हूं मैनू स्क्रिप्ट वॉट इज मैनू स्क्रिप्ट मैनू स्क्रिप्ट को आप दो में डिवाइड करें मैनो प्लस स्क्रिप्ट स्क्रिप्ट मीन्स रिटर्न और राइटिंग मैनस तो मैनो मैनस मीन्स हैंड एच ए एन डी हैंड राइट सो मैनू स्क्रिप्ट मीन्स Piece of writing which is written by hand. In Hindi we call it pandulipi, जो आपने हाथ से लिखी हुई होती है So manus means actually hand and uh, manu means actually hand and script आपका writing होता ही है way of writing. So ये same manus आपका यहां पर same manu आपका यहां पर manu हो जाता है री स्पेलिंग में सो दिस वर्ड बेसिकली मीन्स हैंड फाइन स्टिकमोज मीन्स पल्स Mano means hand, and meter. You all know meter is a device to measure something. Meter is a device to measure something. So the meaning of a sphygmo manometer is what? A device which is used to measure the 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 pulse of someone. So pulse क्यों measure करते हैं? In order to check their ब्लड प्रेशर इधर देयर टेम्परेचर नो ओनली ब्लड प्रेशर टेम्परेचर तो आपका थर्मामीटर से चेक होता है 
So a sphygmomanometer basically is a device which is used to uh, check someone's blood pressure so that medicine could be given. So ye blood pressure checking machine aapki hai jisko hum itna lamba sa word a sphygmomanometer bolte hain. तो पहले आपको ये वर्ड इतना कॉम्प्लेक्स लग रहा होगा बट इन तीन रूट्स में इसको डिवाइड करके अलग अलग एक बार स्टडी करके अब ये वर्ड बस आपको ये स्पीक मोस्ट रूट थोड़ा याद करने में मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी मैनो एक और प्रॉमिस में करता हूं इन रूट से इतने वर्ड्स निकलते हैं कि आपने ये रूट पकड़ा कम से कम दस वर्ड आपको समझ में आएंगे इस रूट को आपने एक बार देखा तो इससे कम से कम पंद्रह वर्ड्स निकलते हैं एंड सेम अबाउट दिस दिस इज अंपल इंग्लिश वर्ड दिस इज नॉट अ रूट सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कॉम्प्लेक्स हाउ कैन यू कैन Uh, decode very complex words using these small tricks we call rules, telling rules. This was our word number one. Now I'm going to tell you the word number two. So here is the second word, guys. The word is right here before you. Let's pronounce it together. The word is pandemonium. Pandemonium. Now many of you might not be knowing this word, but and even those who know may find it pretty difficult to remember the spelling and meaning and pronunciation and all that. But here is the trick which will enable you to remember this word once and for all very easily. But first of all, I will tell you a story. How much this word has been used to me? This is the talk of say three years ago when I joined mentorship program and there was a, an opportunity where we had a very, very uh, accomplished teacher in front of a presentation dena tha, and that teacher was Dr. Meena Sharabad from uh, Delhi SCRD. And I was a little nervous initially, so I thought I would not take up a poem or a chapter and grammar topic because those are fairly common. I wanted to do something different. So I took up this word and I decoded this word in her presence there. And ever since she remembered me and she liked me and she always appreciated and motivated me. And then I learned a lot from her and for, from many others like her. So one word has made me so much benefit because I got noticed by someone like Meena Shur, Dr. Meena Sharabha. तो कभी पता नहीं चलता डियर पीपल के आप आ, कौन सी चीज कहां काम आ जाए इसीलिए मैं आपको ये ट्रिक बता रहा हूं कि इन चीजों को याद करना कितना आसान होता है लेट सी पेंडेमोनियम को भी हम बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से ब्रेकअप करेंगे तीन यूनिट्स में करेंगे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट हियर यू विल ड्रॉ लाइन वर्टिकल लाइन थ्रू दिस वर्ड राइट एट दिस पॉइंट पैन एंड डिमोनियम And the second line will be drawn here. So here, this one is demon. This one is demon, and this is a fairly common word. Let's write it here: D E M O N. When I was younger, I would call it demon, but the correct pronunciation is demon. Demon, which means actually a monstrous figure, a wild figure, something like a Satan. Fine, Satan or monster or someone. Very, very bad, violent, and strong character. That's what you call a demon. Fine. So in Hindi we can call it bhut, prey, etc. Now the second word is pan. Fine. So pan. Let's not compare it with the pan which we use in kitchen, that frying pan. This is something different. You must have heard terms like pan Indian. Fine. Pan Indian games. Pan Indian movement. Pan Indian uh, organization means existing everywhere in India. Existing everywhere in India. Or you can you, you must also have heard terms like P A N Pan Islamic. Pan Islamic. What is Pan Islamic? You know, uh, Islam is there in as many as fifty or more countries, fifty plus countries. So something says an organization which exists all over Islamic world in 50 plus countries that's what you call pan-Islamic to start Islamic countries may go your pan-Indian which is there all over India yeah pan-American America is not one country America is a continent there are two Americas both of them are continents so pan-America is something which is all over there in America including Canada USA Mexico etc etc Brazil etc so that's what you call Pan-American, fine? So this term means all, all. And here this means all, fine? And this demon means uh, Satan or a very, very violent and strong figure. And this em, this comes from words like gymnasium, podium, P-O-D-I-U-M. 
So podium, this comes from feet, pedos. And EM means a place where, a place where. So EM, for example, auditorium, auditorium, gymnasium. So EM means stadium, a place where. So this will mean a place where. Fine. So we have recorded all these three units. The span means all, this means Satan, and this means a place where. So, pandemonium literally means a place where all evil characters, all satans have assembled. And you all know what that place will be like. A kaisi jage jahan pe sare shaitan ikattha ho jaye, wo jage kaisi hogi apne aap mein, wo aap imagine kar hi sakte hain, sakte hain. To is word ka humara meaning banta hai, that place will be very much chaotic. Main to is word ke pronunciation se bhi struggle karta tha, I would call it chaotic or chaos but the word is chaos or chaotic and it will be disorderly and this will be very violent and noisy place and that is precisely what the word pandemonium means so today we have taken up two words which was sphygmomanometer and pandemonium and we try to decode them and discuss with them uh, discuss with you the meanings of roots and complete meanings of the words uh, along with examples so i hope that you like today's video and you learned two new words if you liked it please subscribe my channel so that you can receive notification of many more such videos in future which i will keep posting on my channel